Dear Bernie Sanders, open letter to Bernie Sanders. Dear Bernie Sanders, I was just at your 2020 campaign kickoff. I just attended one of your 4,000 rallies. I sat through your 20 minute video. And I want to tell you something. You're going to lose. You ain't got a chance in hell of beating Trump with your strategy. Right? Not only that you have no chance of beating Trump, because you're not going to get to Trump. The Democrats are going to slaughter you before you get started. Right? That's what we've been telling you all along. Wake up, old man. Wake up, Grandpa. You want to win? We're going to tell you how to win. We've been telling you how to win the whole time. Right? Russia didn't happen. Right? Get it through your skull. Address the, address the audience, Bernie Sanders. You're right on the policy. Universal single payer health care, tuition, college tuition free at city and state universities. Uh, get money out of politics. Uh, we know that we know military industrial complex, pharmaceutical industrial complex. <laughs> we know the policies. Right? We know the policies, Bernie. But what you fail to realize is the politics of the politics, that the Democrats are stacking the, stacking the deck ahead of, uh, against you, and you can't win. Joe Biden is not your friend, Bernie. Joe Biden is, 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 is put in place to stop you. Because with someone like yourself, who has 70% popularity in this country, 70% approval rating, you could easily beat Trump. There's no disputing that. But the Democrats are not going to let that happen. The money's not going to let that happen. Right? They put 20 candidates against you. Nobody's stopping that. These are not your friends. Klobuchar and, and Gillibrand and Biden and Budaboog. Budabugo. <coughs> these are not your friends. These are, these are, uh, these are controlled opposition. These are people that are put in place to stop you from getting majority of the, of the pledged delegates. That's, what the, that's, their, that's their function, to stop you from getting 50% of the pledged delegates. Right? Call them out. Right? It's cheating, Bernie. See, back in 2016, the idea that, that we were going to eliminate the superdelegates, remember that? Oh, yeah, fucking get rid of superdelegates, superdelegates. Uh, and what happened? You guys folded like cheap suits, and you said, oh, no, no, they, they, they don't vote till the second round. Right? So for the last two years, they've been thinking about, all right, how are they going to screw you this time? By, stat, by putting 20 candidates in the race so that nobody gets, to, nobody gets the majority. And then the superdelegates pick somebody in the second round. Right? Now, do you think that they wouldn't do that? Do you think that the Democrats... The Democrats will go along with the people. Fuck no, they're not going to go along with the people. They're going to screw the people again. All right. So I watched your video, and you didn't talk about any of that. You didn't talk about any of the, the actual political strategy. All you're talking about is the feel good. Oh, I feel good, Bernie. I fucking love Bernie Sanders. Oh, he's so great. He loves health care. Oh, my God, Bernie. Right. You're going to fucking lose, you jerk off. You stupid old man, why don't you call it out? Why don't you call out the corruption? Why don't you look into the camera, take your hand, put it in your pants, grab your balls, and say Russia never happened. Right? There was no, there was, the, the Russians didn't hack the DNC. That was your people who did it. That was Pompeo and, and all those fucking, all those shady CI jerk offs. Guys that lie and cheat and steal on their own admission. We lie, we cheat, we steal. You know, Mike Pompeo? Oh, we lie, we cheat. I was the head of the CIA. We lie, we cheat, we steal. <laughs> That's who you're dealing with, right? Hillary Clinton. Right. Unless you call out the corruption, Bernie, you can't win. I'm sorry, but the smart people... I was open to the idea. I really was. I was open to the idea of supporting you and I'll tell you, Trump people see it better than you do. They know the corruption's the problem. 
How come you don't know the corruption's the problem? You keep saying, well, millions of people rise up. Millions of people come together and stand together. There's nothing we can't do. Well, the fucking the money doesn't care about the million people because the, the money takes the, takes the dick out and pisses on the million people like they do every time. So, so that's, a failed, that's a failed idea. So unless you get aggressive with the Democratic Party, Bernie, unless you show that little bit of flair that you had against Fox. Oh, we were watching. Bernie was getting so excited, man. Oh, fucking Bernie. Well, Bernie's so excited about bashing Trump on Fox Network. But then when he goes, goes on, on CNN and, and Chris Cuomo pushes him, pushes in, he's all, oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Oh, Democrats. It's a bad strategy. You can't win. You can't, get past, you can't get past the dirty Democrats. They're not going to let you win. They're going to cheat you right, right in the end. They're cheating you already, and you're not saying anything about it. They changed the rules. They moved the goalposts. They're, they're stacking 20, 20, 21, 25. Everybody run for president. Fuck it. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Run for president, everybody. <laughs> There's kids over there. I'm cursing. <laughs> I don't apologize. I, here in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, by the way, Bernie. I'm here in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, you know? You're from Brooklyn? You know Brooklyn guy. I'm voting for Trump. <laughs> Fuck you, Bernie. Stand up for yourself. Call it out. Russia never happened. Your party cheated you. When they got caught, they blamed Russia. When they, got, when they continued to get caught, they... They, they blame Trump and Russia. It's fake. The whole fucking story is fake. Right? You got to call out the corruption, Bernie. Right? Your party. The party that you want to join. The party that you want to... You want people... You want to rally people... Rally people... To join your party. You can fool some of the people some of the time. I'm open to the idea that you're just an ignorant old man that believes it, but not really. Right? Vote blue no matter who. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. Vote blue no matter who. You stupid old man. So. I guess we'll just have Trump till 2024. He'll keep giving tax breaks to the billionaires. That right? fucking burn a hole in the ozone. Because <laughs> climate change is a is a farce. I guess we'll all catch cancer from solar, solar uh, from wind wind turbines because they give you cancer. And we'll have to deal with four more years of this moron. Right? Because you, because you have no balls, because you're in a in a unique position to fight back. What do you think you're gonna live forever? You're fucking 75 or 80 years old. You're almost fucking 80 years old. Why don't you have some balls in your own old age and challenge the people that matter? What, the CIA, they're going to kill you? What, they threaten your mother or your grandmother or your, or, your, or your wife or your grandchildren? What, they threaten you, Bernie? Why don't you talk about it? Right? Because that's what people think. They, they talked about you. I took a lot of risk trying to back you, trying to, trying to say, yeah, Bernie, Bernie Sanders, he could, he could win. Right? But the fact is, you can't win unless you call out the corruption. Right? Unless you call it out. Unless you say, unless you say, the Russians did not hack the election. That was Hillary Clinton. That was the Clinton campaign. Right? That whole Mueller, the whole Mueller report is all bullshit. The whole thing is stacked on a pile of bullshit. And they killed the dumper. They killed that kid, that DNC leaker. They killed him, man. They slaughtered that kid in the street, shot him twice in the back, for opening his mouth. That's Donna Brazil. She knows. She knows the fact. Uh, wake up, Bernie. We want you to win because, not because you're just a nice guy, right? But because, because you believe in the policy. I believe you believe in the policy. I believe you believe in. 
universal health care for all. I believe you believe in get money out of politics. I believe that. I believe you believe. But I also believe that you know the truth about the corruption. And for some bizarre reason, you like to blame the other party, Republican. Right? No, 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 not my people. My people, those are my friends. Joe Biden, oh no, he's my friend. Oh no, no, I, I know these people for 20 years. They're my friend. Hillary Clinton, she's my friend. They're not your friends. These are money grabbing tools. Right? Nobody wants to hear that shit. These are corrupt people. Right to the core. Right? Joe Biden. Joe Biden's a shit sandwich. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. He's sitting right next to Obama when they cheated you. He was in the other room. Joe Biden, your friend, was in the other room when they cheated, when Obama was cheating you. Remember when you walked into the White House? Fucking Joe Biden was in the other room. When they were fucking you over. They had a conversation about that shit. That's what's going on, man. That's what time it is, Bernie. You're hurting the country right now. I watched that video and you're getting these people all worked up for nothing. Democrats are not going to let you win. Your fight is against the Democrats. It's a primary. Your fight... Why don't you watch the Trump videos and learn something? Watch how Trump destroyed the Republican Party first. You don't... You don't they're not going to give it to you. You got to take it from them. You got to take it from them, Bernie. You got to take that shit from them. They're not going to let you win. Are you kidding me? Nobody gives up power, man. They're looking at you like, how are they going to stop you? They had a, a powwow in New York. They had a powwow in New York. How to, how to stop you. All right? That's your party. Fucking David Brock and those guys. They, got a, they had a powwow. How to stop you, Bernie. Stop you, Bernie. You gonna win like that? You think you're gonna win? <laughs> Trump's an easy win. Trump, that's easy. Trump is stupid and slow. But you're not gonna get that chance because they're gonna throw a stupid Joe Biden or a, or a, or a nobody Kamala Harris and 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 lose and, and they're gonna bet the they're gonna bet the bet the house on that one and lose, just like the last time. Unless you stand up for yourself. Unless you fight back, Bernie. Unless you stand up and fight back, you don't have a chance of winning. You can't win. You can't beat your own team. Your own team's got you beat. You, they boxed you in, man. They boxed you in, Bernie. You're going down. You're going down for the count, Bernie. I saw it. I saw it. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. A brother from Brooklyn trying to help you. All right? I don't want to see you get screwed again. But you're allowing it to happen. I know, you're a nice guy. Oh, I don't know. Patty cake, that wins. They play patty cake. Put me against Trump, I'll fight Trump. Fucking try fight Trump. Put me against Trump, I'll fucking Trump, Trump. But you can't beat your own people, right? You're not going to get there because they're not going to let you have that. Because they don't, they don't want that. They don't want you in there. Universal health care. They'd rather lose, to, they'd rather win with Trump. They, they're okay with Trump. Trump, they get everything. Markets are rocketing up. What the hell do they need you for? Why do they need you to tell them that the market's going in the toilet? Why do they fucking need you? They don't need you, Bernie. They want, they're want they going to they're gonna, they're gonna put the shit sandwich up there and lose to Trump. That's the strategy. Unless you stand up for yourself and call it out. What's wrong with you, man? What, you got shit in your ears? What the hell is wrong with you? Listen to the smart people that are telling you what's going on. Why can't you hear it? Right? It's not a radical idea, Bernie. It's not a radical idea to call out corruption, to call it what it is. Guys in Florida, Tim Canova, Jared Beck was telling you. They were all telling you. Right? All the commentators, Jimmy Dore, right? the, the, real, the real voices are telling you. I'm telling you. Get off your ass. Call out the corruption. And then you can win. That's an easy win. We could beat Trump easy. But who wants to see you walk to the, you know, they're walking you to slaughter. You're walking, they're walking you to the slaughterhouse, Bernie. They're walking you like you're like online, and they're going to chop your head off. 
when you get to the end. Who the hell wants to watch that again? Who wants to see a rerun of that shit again? <laughs> I guess we're just running with, running with, running with Trump. Trump's running the Democratic, running the, running the Democrats into the ground. Huh? <laughs> Fucking Nancy Pelosi will be dead soon. Chuck Schumer, they'll all die. We gotta wait for everybody to die. Is that, that what's going on, Bernie? Everybody's gotta die before 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 we could get we before we could get some policy in it. Everybody be dead. That's your strategy. Because you ain't gonna win unless you call out the call out the corruption. File that, Bernie.